All right, so here are some of the homework problems for homework 6-3. So starting with number four, we need to figure out which one of these uh, matches the graph. So first of all, I noticed that my graph is concave up, which eliminates anything that has a negative A value, which would be the first and the last one. So now determining between these two, which is the correct one, um, because we know they're both concave up. This has x plus 2, x plus 5, and this has x minus 2, x minus 5. Well, we see that both of our x-intercepts are negative, but remember that it's the opposite sign. So when we plug it back into the formula, we're going to get positive uh, values inside the parentheses. So the correct equation would be this one, um, because this would have an x-intercept at negative 2, 0, which is right here, and negative 5, 0. All right, so now let's take a look at number seven. So it says convert the quadratic function from factored form to both standard and vertex form, then identify all the characteristics of the parabola. All right, so first of all, it's in factored form, which tells me I can identify two things. I can identify the concavity, which we know it's concave up. Uh, and then we can identify the uh, x-intercepts. So the x-intercepts, we look inside the parentheses. Um, and we say, what does x need to be in order to make this zero? So this would be negative nine, zero. My other x-intercept would be negative 7, 0. All right, so now we need to convert it to the other two forms. So I'm going to convert it into vertex form first. So converting this to vertex form, we need to take our x-intercepts, and we need to find the average to find our axis symmetry. So it's going to be negative 9 plus negative 7 divided by 2. So that's negative 16 over 2, which is negative 8. So now I have my axis symmetry. x equals negative 8. And now to actually find my vertex, I'm going to plug it in. So 4 and then negative 8 plus 9 and negative 8 plus 7. So this is going to be 4. Uh, this is going to be 1. Oh, wait, hold on. Negative 8 plus 9 is negative 1. Oh, no, positive 1. Uh, oops, and I, that's why I wrote negative 9. And negative 8 plus 7 uh, is going to be negative 1. So when we multiply this, this gives me negative 4, which means the y value of my vertex is going to be negative 4. So my vertex is going to be negative 8, negative 4. And now I can write my equation in vertex form. So it's going to be f of x. We're going to use the same a value, so it's going to be 4. And now we're just going to plug in our vertex. So it's going to be x plus 8 squared and then minus 4 at the end. All right, so now to put this in standard form, we just need to multiply it out. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to distribute the 4 to the first parentheses. So I have 4x plus 36, and then we have x plus 7. All right, now we're going to go ahead and multiply. So I'm just going to use distributive property. So 4x times x is 4x squared. 4x times 7 is 28x. 36 times x is 36x. And then 36 times 7 is 252. So now we need to combine like terms. So that's going to put it in standard form. So it's going to be 4x squared. 28 plus 36 is 64. So plus 64x plus 252. So now that we have it in standard form, now I can take my y-intercept. So my y-intercept is going to be 0, comma, 252.